Yo guys, how's it going? We're back for another episode of our Bolton career mode on FIFA 19. Starting off today's episode with a game against one of the sides that got relegated from the Premier League last season at home against Stoke. Hopefully we can get at least a decent result out of this or at least play well against these because obviously a very good side that have just came down from the Premier League. I don't don't, didn't really see them getting relegated last season but they are a team that has got relegated and if we can carry on and hopefully get a good performance against one of these uh, these kind of calibre of sides then you know we have a decent chance in this league as we are at home as well so that gives us, gives us a bit of an advantage going into this one as we make a couple of changes around the field hopefully just to switch it up a bit it was because of the last games that were so close to this one I should have really put out my full team in this one instead of the last game but I can't do it about that now and we do come forward on our first attack of the game with Campbell giving it to McKenna who takes on his man keeps running it's his first start for the club as well like I say he's a player I definitely want to be using more of as Vela gets into the box, tries to give it Campbell, does then the end end up coming to him, but unluckily for us, the ball goes wide off the post. But we were looking very threatening to the opposition, and that was the main thing that we were looking forward to the positives. As we do break past the defence again, with McKenna making a brilliant run, whipping the ball in beautifully into Rusavalo, who smashes the ball well wide of the post he really should have done better from that position at least tried to get the uh, shot on target but he doesn't do so and the ball goes flying wide of the post and um, it still remains at nil nil as they we have a goal kick here we absolutely shocking touch there from Olawoske and McLean pounces on the opportunity and smashes the ball in the back of the net to make it one nil it was a brilliant finish from James McLean to be fair, like I say, just using up the uh, the chance that he got, because what was that from Olawoske? And as soon as that touch went wide of him, that was the end of that. It was all go always going to end up in the back of the net as they don't miss their chances, as it ends up in the back of the net. Maybe the keeper should have actually tried to go for the ball, but he didn't do so. And it means that Stoke are one nil up with James McLean getting 13 goals so far this season. Clearly having a very good season of his own. But going into the second half, they do come forward on another attack. Trying to get themselves back into hopefully a more commanding lead for them. As McLean absolutely pelts one from the outside of the box. Curving it into the back of the net to make it 2-0. And you can just see from this performance alone how well he is playing this season. You see how many goals he'd scored and they, today he was just showing why he had sco scored so many goals so far this season. As he smashes the ball beyond the keeper into that far corner. And it was very, very hard for the keeper to get to that one to be fair. And it was just a brilliantly placed shot to be honest. There was not a lot we could do about it. He got into the space, no one closed him down quick enough and he got the shot off and it ended up in the back of the net for his 14th goal of the season. As we come on an attack now to try and get ourselves back in the game as McKenna breaks free again, taking the shot, the keeper saves the first one, it comes back to him and he puts the ball in the back of the net to bring us close off back into contention with this game. As McKenna looked like a real threat throughout this game today. He looked like the most threatening player on the pitch by far. There was no one that was really causing as many problems as he was. No one really running as directly as he was. And he got the goal to prove it in this one. It was a lucky goal to be fair. But at the end of the day, any goal counts. And that is his second goal of the season so far. Which is brilliant for us. As we do come forward, trying to get ourselves from 2-0 down, back in to level peggings at this point. As Campbell tries to take on his man, he gets slide tackled. But Oshuma lays it out to Lloyd Dyer, who puts the ball in the back of the net to bring us back level. After going 2-0 down early on in the second half, we bring it back in the 78th to level pegging, which is brilliant for us. 
the two wingers getting on the score sheet in this one and both of the t uh, both of the players were in fact at this point playing at right mid the point they scored which is just brilliant for us as you see that's his third goal of the season he's playing very well as well to be fair Lloyd Dyer definitely showing why he should still be in the squad but straight from kickoff pretty much they do come forward on an attack of their own to try and get themselves back in the lead as Tomins breaks into the box taking the shot is Benick after Yobe who finds the back of the net to make it 3-2 now and all of that pressure that we put on Stoke and the, to score the two goals back after going 2-0 down just cut results in nothing as they get the third goal which really just ruined us at this point because it was so so disappointing after we had done so well to get back level they go ahead and score that one to bring it back to them being in the lead which just wasn't it wasn't bad defending to be fair they just played it round well and there weren't a lot we could do about it as we come forward on an attack of our own in the last couple of seconds of this game trying to cause one last upset as we slide the ball through to Luke Murphy who finds the back of the net to make it three apiece 30 seconds after the uh, extra time was added we got the lucky finish and it is so so brilliant for us after working so hard to come back from 2-0 down to 2 apiece to get knocked back again to 3-2 to coming back once again and drawing it back level it just shows how re uh, relentless our team are and not willing to give up or give the team the points comes back and gets us a point out of the game and I think Stoke in this one will be looking like they've lost the two points that they really should have got but we do come back and we were very resilient in this game. Never lost hope of getting back into it. And we do exactly that. And that is in fact how the game ends. We do bring it back level 2-3 apiece and we get the point out of this game. And like I say, it's that kind of resilience that we really need in this season if we want to get promoted. Like I say, I really do want to. I don't think we will be able to. But if we're playing games like this and we're really resilient like this and bouncing back like we have in this game, I don't see a reason why we can't really be doing it because we played so well during this game, always threatening Stoke. But like I say, that is a point that we definitely did deserve and we came into a training session the next day very, very happy with ourselves. As we go into the January transfer window, you see two players uh, we lose from their loan expiring in Remy Matthews, the goalkeeper, and also uh, Christian Deutsch, who was playing very well at the start of the season. So it's going to be sad to see them two leave, and we now have to play uh, Onwick in goal instead. Obviously, we've played Matthews throughout this season, but now it will be... Uh, and we can go instead from this moment on as you see from that draw again in the last game we drop another position into fifth so far this season like I say from this few couple of games where we've only been able to pick up a couple of points we've dropped uh, three places which we, this is how I expect in the season to go to be fair I expect us to keep dropping points at this point I'm still looking for the wing obviously I'm trying to get them points but I do see us dropping a lot of points now throughout this season. As the season wears on, the players will be getting a lot more tired. And we've just got to hope for the best, really. And really try and play our socks off as we try and do that against this game. Against Paul, with Van Buren sliding the ball through into uh, Stephen Island. Gets the ball clear, well done. But as they get the ball back, we play it into Stephen Island, who was through on goal who finds the back of the net in the 6th minute as they try and get the ball clear, they don't do it well enough it comes straight to our player who heads it down to Van Buren sliding it with a basically through pass easily as he splits the defence straight into Steven Island who would find it very difficult to miss from that position I believe at this point he is our top goal scorer 
which just shows how well he's playing at the minute and I'm very happy to have him in the side hopefully we, he can carry on with that kind of uh, relenting pressure that he has done at this point throughout the season if he can then it'll be brilliant for us as we do come forward again on the attack really looking quite threatening in these open stages in the 8th minute as we come forward with John Williams playing the ball into Van Buren and the keeper making the save and that would have been an absolutely fantastic finish if Van Buren had uh, ended up in the back of the net there as the keeper gets his forearm to it and turns it wide of the post but at this point it seems like uh, Hull really turned up the pressure and really after we uh, had that chance they really didn't want to, uh, to have any more as they come on a, a counter attack of their own with Grosicki whipping the ball in it's lucky he would get the ball wide but Campbell gets the shot off and turns it wide and like I say at this point they really started amping up the pressure and really we had no chances from when we had that last chance uh, this is where Hall really come into their own as they try and get the ball back they do so with Kevin Stewart giving it Hendrickson who turns his man easily plays it inside it was a beautiful piece of passing play between Hull at this point they were just passing the ball around our team like it was nothing as Irwin gets the shot off and this time again it goes wide of the post in the 32nd minute like I say really starting to amp up the pressure and we really started feeling it at this point as the ball just goes wide of the post there really starting to give us something to think about as they come forward again in the 42nd minute with Torral playing the ball backwards to Stewart he turns his man with a little ball roll Torral again a little bit of 1-2 play on this right hand side they whip the ball in it gets deflected we try and get the ball clear not well enough it only ends up at Stewart who gives it uh, Grisicke back to Irwin a couple of like I say just brilliant passing play from Hall where they were just knocking it round waiting for us to slip up and create an opportunity as we do exactly that as they come back at the box just passing the ball around beautifully with a little one too they get the shot off but again this time it goes over the bar from Kingsley they like I say were really really pressuring us at this point we hardly had the ball we didn't have any attacks pretty much until this point as we started to get on a little bit of a move on our own as we're uh, Buckley puts the ball through as we get through into the box with Buckley who passes it inside to Stephen Ireland who finds the back of the net and out of two shots we score two goals and literally this game we was just being very clinical Hull were having all the possession and really deserved the points out of this one because they were dominating us absolutely left right and centre they were just completely killing us but the two chances we did have we got the goals and I can't thank Stephen Ireland enough for finding the back of the net in this one because I don't know I think if he had missed this shot it would have been so more, much more difficult for us to remain in the lead in this game for how much Hull were pressuring us it, and one player I was really really uh, like surprised by in this game was Hendrickson for Hull he was absolutely dominating us going forward as we do come forward again with Van Buren taking the shot but the keeper is equal to it this time and makes the save turning it wide it was a good piece of play Van Buren getting the shot off like a save but the keeper getting his hands to it and turning the ball wide of the uh, post as Hull start to get themselves on the uh, attack again with Milovic giving it to uh, Stewart who gives it Irwin and a little one too we do try and intercept but the ball comes straight back to him as like I say the defence were looking very solid at this point we were really defending very solidly but we were just not we were just giving the ball away in our own half and so, like I say in this attack alone we've won the ball back twice and just gave it back, straight back to him which is not good enough as they finally get a shot off it goes just wide of the post once again and that man like I said who was really threatening us all game gets the shot off Hendrickson 
30 it just goes wide of the post again and at this point it was really looking like it wasn't going to be Hall's day but they do come forward on another attack trying to get themselves back in the game as a little one two gets played Toral takes the shot but Alnwick is equal to it turning the ball wide and it was one of the only shots that Hall really had on target in this game they were dominating us, getting so many shots off, but so many of them were going wide and over the bar. It was stupid, but they do get a corner. They try and take the shot. We try and get the ball clear. It only goes as far as the whole player as they come forward, getting that shot off. And Campbell, if he'd scored that, I really think that would have revived them as much as they needed to because that was a perfectly executed shot, but it just wasn't on target. He hit it so sweetly, but just not on target. It would have been a fantastic finish if it did end up in the back of the net. But Campbell with a little bit of trickery there, turning his man, getting it into Oshkuma. He carries on his run, takes the shot, and it ends up in the back of the net. And like I said, we were just so clinical in this game. Three shots, pretty much three goals. We had a couple of other shots, but nothing to really think, uh, make trouble the keeper but these three shots like I say we were so clinical in these ga in this game compared to how Hull were having all the chances but Campbell comes on off the bench again getting himself another goal he has really been my star player so far this season after coming in and just doing so well he's been brilliant but one player that I really can't miss out is Oluwaski you don't really see many clips of him in these games but he is so good going forward and defensive left he's brilliant he's one i think he is my star player this season fair enough campbell has been the one scoring the goals but honestly he uh Olawoski has been the man that has saved us so many points in this season it's been unreal and he has been my best player so far this season but that is all for this game we do win it 3-0 and that means we are back on winning ways, hopefully getting four points out of six uh, available in this episode. As we do get an offer for Will Buckler, which we do go ahead and counter offer. But that is all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.